Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. And I was scrolling through the comment section, there were some people asking if I could chart some companies. I grabbed a good amount of them. I don't know if I got everybody's. Uh, and I'm gonna chart them out here. I call this uh, Patterns for You. And if you guys are interested in that type of analysis, uh, click subscribe, give me the thumbs up button. And one thing I wanted to talk about before I jump into all these charts, a lot of these charts look pretty good. So obviously some of this is sticking to you guys in terms of charting, in terms of looking at certain sectors, because some of these look, look very nice. They're coming off of bases, they're breaking down trends and, and you know, good job. And thank you for the comments too. I appreciate all of you guys uh, commenting. And if you have donated to the channel, I also thank you uh, for donating. So we're gonna get in here. I'll, I'll do some closing comments after this. So let's jump in and see what we got. You're gonna lose me. This is called Patterns for You. The first one's Maple Gold Mines. Someone wanted me to chart this. Uh, I think it looks excellent. You basically have a resistance or trend line here. And if you look from about 2020, you're getting these lows. So here's a low, a higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. It's just stepping right into the uh, the trend line. And if you look, you can also see a pattern within a pattern here. Uh, you could say that this is one gigantic cup and handle pattern. And then we've got another cup and handle pattern that's developing. So I, this looks excellent um, either to be in it and hold on. Uh, it's up to you if you want to hold it from here or you wait for the break. Uh, you might see a break uh, to the upside and then a back test uh, or a break and it, and it runs. So this one looks very good. It's got a launching base to launch from. That's what I look for when I invest in companies is these long patterns that are about to break uh, so they can get up on top of the pattern and then jump and leap from it. And usually they run for a pretty good time. Uh, Maple Gold Mines, I think is a, I mean, obviously they're dealing with gold. I think they have... Uh, a developing mine uh, that's a, that they're trying to develop. So I don't know as much about the background of this company, but chart-wise looks very good. Now here's another one, Prairie Provident Resources. This is an energy company. Uh, we broke this downtrend line. We've had a nice accumulation phase all from about 2019 all the way till even, even now almost. Here is Prairie Provident in stock charts, uh, we've got the downtrend line. It just broke that downtrend line. We've got a shoulder, head, shoulder, if you want to draw it this way, with a nice projected move somewhere probably up here. And this looks fantastic for a move higher. The volume is kicking in all at the bottom down here massively, uh, so people are accumulating this. So this one looks very good from a, from a big long-term perspective. Uh, here's Neo Lithium Corp. Uh, this one is kind of a mutated. You can draw a line through here and connect these guys. It is a mutated cup and handle pattern. Uh, it's probably going to take some time to break through it. Got some volume accumulating all through here. And you'll probably see a large move higher at some point. So that one looks pretty good. Uh, that's So that's what it looks like here. Zoomed in on that right-hand side. This is a channel going down or a channel going across, I should say. Uh, and we're looking at the candlesticks. What I always look for are these large, big, white candlesticks, the body of them. So it's an up day, and then we see a leak off of sellers. Big move higher, leak off of sellers. The sellers could have drew, you know, drove this lower if they had the selling power, but they don't. They don't have the selling power. Uh, so what's happening is we get these big moves higher in a couple of days and then the slow leak off of sellers. This looks good to break to the upside. That's what I'm seeing. Uh, it looks like a like a good, technically good stock. Now here's 1911 Gold Corporation, another one someone want, wanted me to, to chart out. We've got a nice base back here in, in 18, 19, and 20 that developed across. We broke to the upside. And we're pulling on back, and we're going to back test here, retest, back test, and that's usually where I like to buy is these retest, back test areas. Uh, so this one looks really good too. 
Here's Tootin Resources, one of my favorite royalty companies. It's a very small, I don't think they really have any uh, revenue or anything yet, but they, they own the land up in the Golden Triangle. There's a lot of gold that was found in the Golden Triangle. There's more upside to be had uh, in finding gold for the companies and expanding the resources. Uh, so this one is kind of an up and coming royalty company. So you're gonna have to be patient if you wanna get, you know, if, if they're gonna get paid, uh, it's gonna take some time. But if they have the resource and they're proving up all these resources and they've got the royalties on them, uh, I think this is a, it's a decent one to look at at least. So we've got higher lows stepping right up into this resistance line. We break this resistance line, I think we're gonna see a big move. It's a big basing pattern that's happening here. So this one looks pretty good. EWZ, iShares Brazil. We've got the downtrend line. It hasn't broken yet, but it's looking like it wants to go up into it. Higher lows all through here. Uh, so that looks pretty good. Lumina Gold, another one wanted someone wanted me to look at. Hasn't broken the downtrend yet. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't with the market conditions where they're at. Higher lows stepping right into it. So we're going right into this resistance line, and that's what you got to do. We'll have to see if it breaks. But I, I don't have any reason why it wouldn't break. There's a lot of other commodities that are all breaking their big patterns. So I think gold and silver will follow a lot of these companies. Here's North Shore Global Uranium Mining from a big picture view. I drew this trend line in. We kind of broke out, back tested, and then starting to run. We could come all the way back and back test, or maybe not. Uh, but there is the chance to kind of roll over and come back. Not saying that it will. I'm just saying there's a possibility there. Here's SM Energy. Uh, I know a lot of people on the on the channel may own this one. At least I do in copious amounts. Uh, here's the downtrend line. We hit our head on it. It paused. And now we broke above the downtrend. So this thing looks quite good. From a big long long term perspective, it could you know move all around up here, especially that maybe this winter coming up we could see a little bit of selling pressure. But to me, this looks fantastic. The downtrend's broken and it's got a launch pad to launch from. So that's what I had for subscriber picks. I just wanted to go through them. I know a lot of people they want my opinion on it, and these look all they all look pretty good now. Looking across the entire sectors on all of them, gold, silver, copper, platinum, doesn't matter what it is, all the energy, they're all breaking large patterns. Everything is. For this to be happening, the underlying people in the market think that it's going to be inflationary, the conditions, and people are rotating money into it. That's how you're getting all these chart break patterns. That's how you're breaking downtrends and huge you know, triangle pennant patterns. I mean, everything. Huge accumulation phases are all breaking to the upside. These things don't break and just sit there and do nothing. It's These things are massive patterns. They're decade-long patterns. And they're all breaking. So when, when people talk about news, like China buying whatever, I don't think it has anything to do with China. China is not buying all of the commodity sector and all of these companies all at the same time. It's a dollar problem. That's my take. It's currencies and, and where we are in cycles. And I think if interest rates go up, and I'm not saying it has to go up, all we need is inflation. Inflation's there. Inflation with a low interest rate is basically the strongest tailwind that you can possibly have for gold and silver because real negative rates get larger and larger if we get more inflation and they hold interest rates low. If interest rates go up, that just sparks or spurs the rotation of money into our commodity assets because existing bonds become less valuable as interest rates go up. Same with stocks. It's a headwind for stocks. It's a headwind for bonds. And we haven't seen bonds in a bear market for a very long time. It's like 46 years or something like that. Well, it would be... 20, 20, 41 years, maybe. So in 41 years, we haven't had a bear market in bonds. 
There's a lot of money over there. When that comes and rotates, it's going to rotate into commodities, precious metals, and all these other inflation hedges, real estate. And I and I heard there were some people talking on YouTube. They're talking about some of these, like like I think it was Black BlackRock buying uh, homes. If you look at the big picture, you've got the smart money, institutional money, and then the retail sector does a blow off top. Maybe the institution institutions are starting to get involved in real estate. They're maybe they've got a bunch of cash. They have to do something with the cash. Maybe they're just buying homes because it's a good inflation hedge. Maybe they think inflation's coming. Maybe they know inflation is coming. And Janet Yellen, she's, she was talking about increasing interest rates probably because they can't hold it down much longer. Why was she talking about increasing interest rates and the possibility of that being good? <laughs> so I, I think it's all coming. I think higher rates are inevitable at some point. I can't tell you when. Uh, I think we are going, I think the inflation's here. Obviously, just go outside and look, go buy something. Uh, it seems like prices are going up and quantity is going down. They're shrinking everything, shrinkflation, right? And every chart I look at, good, 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 that deals with either ETFs with other currencies or commodities type related companies. Everything looks game on, super game on. And if you looked at my other video on the monetary base, the gold price in relationship to the monetary base, that thing looks ridiculous. If if that thing breaks, oh my goodness. And I'll put that in the in the comment section below if you guys want to watch that video. Uh, but gold and silver, I'm getting super bullish. I'm uh, I'm already heavily invested in all these. Uh, so I'm running out of allocation for some of these companies just because I, I'm so I keep piling into them. But hopefully this helps you in your invest investing, you know, outlook, you're keeping your paradigm, you know correctly focused on what needs to be uh, important and not. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.